Good morning. Good morning. So we are now on our second lesson in arts. Okay. So second lesson in arts is family portrait. So I hope that you have your book with you. Go to page 115. Okay. Open your book to page 115. Okay. Do you have it now? Okay. Okay. So on page 115, so you have it there. Family portrait. So say family portrait. Take a look. Okay. So family portrait. So as you can see on page 115, as you can see, diba na ashay mga figures, diba? This one, okay? okay? So list down the different shapes used in the pictures. So, unsa man yung makita ang mga shapes din here? For example, you saw a square, okay? So you write your answer here, you write square, okay? Unsa na ang mga shapes, okay? If you are done, okay, you, you can do that activity later, okay? Let's go to page 116. Okay, so so 116, as you can see, uh, what does this picture mean? Ito, okay, what does it mean? What can you say about it? They also have the same picture. Okay, so this is called a group portrait. Okay, group portrait shot. Okay, so who are these people? Let us say, they are a family, okay? They are a family. So this picture that you see on your book is a group portrait, okay? Group portrait. Now, in our example, dito, the screen, as you can see, it's a family portrait, okay? Group portrait shop, specifically family portrait. Family portrait because they are a family. Family sila. Okay, composed of mama, papa, and the kids. Okay, so family portrait siya. So to draw the family portrait, so you need to use the lines and shapes. As you can see, diba, ang frame niya is, um, is it square or rectangle? Okay, so mauna siya. Mauna siya ang, if you want to make a family portrait, so lines and shape are to be used, okay? So we have straight lines and curve lines for the design and also for the portrait of the people inside it, okay? So what do you mean by shape? So what's about to shape the eye picture, okay? So we have here, the draw the family portrait, lines and shapes are used, straight lines and curve lines form a shape. Just like these examples here, we have circle. Circle, use straight lines ba? Or curve line? Yes, curve lines siya. Okay, how about triangle? Nag-use ba si triangle or curve line? Or straight line? Straight line, very good. We also have rectangle, square, star, hexagon. Do they use curve lines or straight lines? Okay, very good. So straight lines yung gamit. And we also have the shape of a heart. Okay, so does it use curve line or straight line? Okay, very good. So heart uses curve line to form a shape. Okay, so from one point, pag draw ni Moana, it needs the First point, okay, nagtagbo ang doon ka point, and it forms a shape. Do you follow? So, si shape is the area enclosed by lines. Okay? Wala siya opening, closed with na siya. Okay? Para ma-form siya o shape. Do you follow? So, next. So, here are the bigger examples of the shapes. We have a lot of shapes aside from this. But these are the very common shapes that we have, okay? These are the common shapes that we have. So, 
we have here circle, triangle. So, enclosed siya, meaning naka-close. Okay? Wala kayo makita nga open na na. We also have rectangle, square, star, hexagon, and heart. Do you follow? Okay. So, now, if you don't have any questions about shapes, I want you to go to page 107. On page 117, we have there an activity wherein you are going to write the name of the shape of each object. Okay? So, makita ni na ha. Okay. Na siya mga the same of shape. So, imong i-write ang name sa shape. Okay? According to what you see on the picture. And continue answering on page 118 and 119 based on your learning plan. Okay? So I hope you enjoy answering and have a good day, grade one. If you have some questions, feel free to ask teacher through your messenger. Okay, you can ask mommy to do that. Okay, so have a good day and thank you.